In physics, a degree of freedom is an independent physical parameter in the formal description of the state of a physical system. The set of all states of a system is known as the system's phase space, and degrees of freedom of the system, are the dimensions of the phase space. <laughs> <laughs> Definition A degree of freedom of a physical system is an independent parameter that is necessary to characterize the state of a physical system. In general, a degree of freedom may be any useful property that is not dependent on other variables. The location of a particle in three-dimensional space requires three position coordinates. Similarly, the direction and speed at which a particle moves can be described in terms of three velocity components, each in reference to the three dimensions of space. If the time evolution of the system is deterministic, where the state at one instant uniquely determines its past and future position and velocity as a function of time, such a system has six degrees of freedom. If the motion of the particle is constrained to a lower number of dimensions, for example, the particle must move along a wire or on a fixed surface, then the system has fewer than six degrees of freedom. On the other hand, a system with an extended object that can rotate or vibrate can have more than six degrees of freedom. In classical mechanics, the state of a point particle at any given time is often described with position and velocity coordinates in the Lagrangian formalism, or with position and momentum coordinates in the Hamiltonian formalism. In statistical mechanics, a degree of freedom is a single scalar number describing the microstate of a system. The specification of all microstates of a system is a point in the system's phase space. In the 3D ideal chain model in chemistry, two angles are necessary to describe the orientation of each monomer. It is often useful to specify quadratic degrees of freedom. These are degrees of freedom that contribute in a quadratic function to the energy of the system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gas molecules. In three-dimensional space, three degrees of freedom are associated with the movement of a particle. A diatomic gas molecule has six degrees of freedom. This set may be decomposed in terms of translations, rotations, and vibrations of the molecule. The center of mass motion of the entire molecule accounts for three degrees of freedom. In addition, the molecule has two rotational degrees of motion and one vibrational mode. The rotations occur around the two axes perpendicular to the line between the two atoms. The rotation around the atom-atom bond is not a physical rotation. This yields, for a diatomic molecule, a decomposition of n equals 6 equals 3 plus 2 plus 1. Display style n equals 6 equals 3 plus 2 plus 1. For a general, nonlinear molecule, all three rotational degrees of freedom are considered, resulting in the decomposition 3 n equals 3 plus 3 plus 3 n minus 6. Display style 3n equals 3 plus 3 plus 3n6, which means that an n atom molecule has 3n minus 6 vibrational degrees of freedom for n greater than 2. In special cases, such as adsorbed large molecules, the rotational degrees of freedom can be limited to only one. As defined above, one can also count degrees of freedom using the minimum number of coordinates required to specify a position. This is done as follows. For a single particle we need two coordinates in a 2D plane to specify its position and three coordinates in 3D space. Thus its degree of freedom in a 3D space is 3. For a body consisting of two particles x, a diatomic molecule in a 3D space with constant distance between them let's say d, we can show below its degrees of freedom to be 5, let's say one particle in this body has coordinate x1, y1, z1 and the other has coordinate x2, y2, z2 with z2 unknown. Application of the formula for distance between two coordinates d equals x 2 minus x 1 2 plus y 2 minus y 1 
2 plus z 2 minus z 1 2 display style d equals sqrt x underscore 2 x underscore 1 caret 2 plus y underscore 2 y underscore 1 caret 2 plus z underscore 2 z underscore 1 caret 2 results in one equation with one unknown in which we can solve for z 2 one of x1 x2 y1 y2 z1 or z2 can be unknown Contrary to the classical equipartition theorem, at room temperature, the vibrational motion of molecules typically makes negligible contributions to the heat capacity. This is because these degrees of freedom are frozen because the spacing between the energy eigenvalues exceeds the energy corresponding to ambient temperatures In the following table such degrees of freedom are disregarded because of their low effect on total energy. Then only the translational and rotational degrees of freedom contribute, in equal amounts, to the heat capacity ratio. This is why gamma equals 5 thirds for monatomic gases and gamma equals 7 fifths for diatomic gases at room temperature. However, at very high temperatures, on the order of the vibrational temperature theta v, vibrational motion cannot be neglected. Vibrational temperatures are between 103 K and 104 K. Independent degrees of freedom The set of degrees of freedom x1 xn of a system is independent if the energy associated with the set can be written in the following form E equals I equals 1 n E I x I Display style e equals sum underscore i equals one caret n e underscore i x underscore i, where a is a function of the sole variable she. Example: If x one and x two are two degrees of freedom, and e is the associated energy, if e equals x one four plus x two four Display style e equals x underscore one caret four plus x underscore two caret four. Then the two degrees of freedom are independent. If e equals x one four plus x one x two plus x two four. Display style e equals x underscore one carrot four plus x underscore one x underscore two plus x underscore two carrot four. Then the two degrees of freedom are not independent. The term involving the product of x one and x two is a coupling term that describes an interaction between the two degrees of freedom. For i from one to n, the value of the ith degree of freedom x is distributed according to the Boltzmann distribution. Its probability density function is the following. P I X I equals E minus E I K B T D X I E minus E I K B T Display style p underscore i x underscore i equals frac e caret frac e underscore i k underscore b t int d x underscore i e caret frac e underscore i k underscore b t. In this section and throughout the article, the brackets display style langle wrangle denote the mean of the quantity they enclose. The internal energy of the system is the sum of the average energies associated with each of the degrees of freedom. E equals I equals one N E I Display style Langle E wrangle equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N Langle E underscore I wrangle.
Topic: <laughs> Quadratic degrees of freedom. A degree of freedom she is quadratic if the energy terms associated with this degree of freedom can be written as e equals alpha i x i 2 plus beta i x i y Display style e equals alpha underscore i x underscore i caret two plus beta underscore i x underscore i y, where y is a linear combination of other quadratic degrees of freedom. Example: If x one and x two are two degrees of freedom, and e is the associated energy, if e equals x one four plus x one three x two plus x two four display style e equals x underscore one carrot four plus x underscore one carrot three x underscore two plus x underscore two carrot four then the two degrees of freedom are not independent and non quadratic if e equals x one four plus x two four display style e equals x underscore one carrot four plus x underscore two carrot four then the two degrees of freedom are independent and non quadratic if e equals x one two plus x one x two plus two x two two display style e equals x underscore one carrot two plus x underscore one x underscore two plus two x underscore two carrot two. Then the two degrees of freedom are not independent but are quadratic. If e equals x one Two plus two x two two display style e equals x underscore one carrot two plus two x underscore two carrot two. Then the two degrees of freedom are independent and quadratic. For example, in Newtonian mechanics, the dynamics of a system of quadratic degrees of freedom are controlled by a set of homogeneous linear differential equations with constant coefficients. topic quadratic and independent degree of freedom x1 xn are quadratic and independent degrees of freedom if the energy associated with a microstate of the system they represent can be written as e equals i equals 1 n alpha i x I two display style e equals sum underscore i equals one caret n alpha underscore i x underscore i caret two. Topic: Equipartition theorem. In the classical limit of statistical mechanics, at thermodynamic equilibrium, the internal energy of a system of n quadratic and independent degrees of freedom is u equals e equals n k b t 2 display style u equals langle e wrangle equals n frac k underscore b t 2 here the mean energy associated with a degree of freedom is e i equals d x i alpha i x i 2 p i x i equals d x i alpha i x 
I two E minus alpha I X I two K B T D X I E minus alpha I X I two K B T Display style Langle E underscore I wrangle equals int dx underscore i alpha underscore i x underscore i carrot two p underscore i x underscore i equals frac int dx underscore i alpha underscore i x underscore i carrot two e carrot frac alpha underscore i x underscore i carrot two k underscore b t int dx underscore i e carrot frac alpha underscore i x underscore i carrot two k underscore b t e I equals K B T two D X X two E minus X two two D X E minus X two two equals K B T two Display style Langle E underscore I wrangle equals FRAC K underscore B T two FRAC int DX X carrot two E carrot FRAC X carrot two two int DX E carrot FRAC X carrot two two equals FRAC K underscore B T two since the degrees of freedom are independent, the internal energy of the system is equal to the sum of the mean energy associated with each degree of freedom, which demonstrates the result. Generalizations The description of a system's state as a point in its phase space, although mathematically convenient, is thought to be fundamentally inaccurate. In quantum mechanics, the motion degrees of freedom are superseded with the concept of wave function, and operators which correspond to other degrees of freedom have discrete spectra. For example, intrinsic angular momentum operator which corresponds to the rotational freedom for an electron or photon has only two eigenvalues. This discreteness becomes apparent when action has an order of magnitude of the Planck constant, and individual degrees of freedom can be distinguished. 